Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Lego Jeep today. And we are going to be starting with a 4x10 plate. I think that's what it is. And take one of these pieces and put them right on there. And then it's easy if you don't have those. Then you can just take some of these and put those on. And try to use the same color. I was just too lazy and I didn't find the same color. But yeah, so start like that. And now you're going to take um, a 1x4 brick with studs on the front. And you're just going to put that on. And then a one by another 1x4 brick on the back like that. So it has something looking like this. And then you're going to take a 1x4 plate and put that on. And it doesn't really matter which color because um, you're not going to see it. And now a 2x4 two by, two by plate right there. Now you're going to take one of these minifigure plates and put that on there. And then another 1x4 plate in red because I'm making a red Jeep. Put that right on there. And then take a 2x4 plate and put that right on over there. And then take one of these modified plates with um, tile there and a row of studs. You're going to place it on right like that. So there you have the front of your Jeep. Now we're going to move to the back. So you're going to start with um, this bracket piece. Start by putting that right there. Then take two one by one plates and put them there, right on the side of that. And then um, you're going to take a brick, put that right on there, two by four brick, one by two brick, put that on there, take two of those. Another one, that right there, and then now you're gonna take three of these two by three plates and put them right there, like that, just like that. And then you're gonna take a one by two plate and put that right there. Now you're gonna take one of these sort of seat pieces. Um. This came in a Fantastic Beast set, so it's not so rare, but I only have one of these actually. But yeah, you just gonna put that there. And then you're going to take um, one, another 2x3 plate in black and put that on there. And then you're going to put um, a slope piece right on there. And then take a mud guard, a red mud guard piece. And put that on there. That's going to be the part that's sort of covering the, the extra wheel part. And I'm going to be showing you how to build this in sections. So yeah, let's move on to the next section, which is a console part. And you're going to start with a 1x6 plate. And then you're going to put a headlight brick there. Then a grid for some more detail on it. Then a steering wheel and two door pieces. Okay, there's your console section. And let's move on to the next one. You are going to start with three one by six black plates. And you're just going to put them like that in a pattern like that. Just like that. And now you're going to take, yeah, I'm um, going to take two of these sort of inverted slopes and put those on the back. Just like that. And then take another inverted slope and put this modified 1x4 plate with the flat part in the middle. Take one of those and put it on there. Make another one and then put it right on there. And now you're going to take two one by one bricks and put them 
on either side. And now you're going to take one of these corner plates and put this sort of seat piece right on there. So you have this little assembly and just stick it right on the inverted slopes. Make another one of those. And just put it on. Now you're going to take two 1 by 2 um, red flat towels and put them right there just to smooth them smoothing that out and there you have your next section and now we are going to move on to the front bumper which is pretty simple you are going to start with a 2x4 plate and you are going to place a 1x2 no sorry a 1x4 plate right on the bottom that and then another 1x4, modified 1x4 with the studs on either side in black. For the bumper, I'm just for some more bumper, bumper um, style or whatever. Just put another stud. And then take two grids. Put them on like this. Just like that. And then for the turning signal lights, you're going to take two of these translucent orange 1x1 one one plates and put those on either side and now you're going to take a 1x6 plate and place that right there now you're just going to top it off with some lights translucent clear studs a bit hard to see them but yeah translucent studs on either side of the grids there so you have the front bumper okay let's move on to the back bumper is even simpler and I'm gonna again start with another two by four sorry two by four plate and then take another modified one by four black one and put that on the bottom and then you're gonna take a, a one by six plate put a red flat towel on it for the lights take another one put it on the other side like that and then take this 2x4 jumper plate and put it right there and now I made this wheel assembly by taking one of these sort of thinner wheel innings and taking a dirt bike tire and then just putting the dirt bike tire right around um, right around it and then you're just gonna Put that on the back for the extra tire. And um, let's move on to the last assembly, which is the window. Okay, so we're gonna take this window. It can be in any color. I'm using a translucent, a clear one. Now I'm taking one of these modified one by four plates, putting it on there, and then two one by one plates in red, putting it on there. Okay, now get your, get all of your assemblies that you made, and plus a 2x6 black plate, so get all of them. Now take the main base, and you're going to put this assembly right on there. So, if you put it on right here, might take a minute to put on. Put it right there. See, so you have it like that. Sorry, it's a bit hard. Put on that and put that on the back part near the seat. And then make sure you wedge the corner plates onto that, onto that clear space. Yeah, there you go. Might take a minute to put it on. Yeah, but there you go. So you have that section on, and then um, you're going to take the 2x6 plate and put that right there. Now you're going to put the console assembly right here. So take it and put it in that space, right like that. Put that in right there. So there you go. Now you're going to take the window piece and put that right on there 
straight down to there. Now put the front bumper on like that. And then I'll put the back bumper on. Take it and put it right there. Now, of course, I have not forgotten the wheels. So take some wheels, put the inner part in, put the tire on, and pop them on. Yeah, so there you have your Lego Jeep. And if you like the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe and um yeah i am so i'm i have this little christmas series i made i show you how to build a christmas tree some presents and a gingerbread house so why don't you go and check that out if you'd like but yeah without further ado um i'll see you in the next video and bye